Bar Colorado was the first to legalize marijuana and were the first to cash in on the benefits. A new civic center in Edgewater has been a dream for 20 years, and thanks in part to the city's marijuana tax money, it's now reality. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez checking out that center tonight. Lance, uh, sounds pretty impressive. Very impressive. The mayor says this new civic center, complete with a library and an antique fire truck here in the lobby, will be a hub for families and will help keep people in the community. Welcome to the Edgewater Civic Center and the new library. We need a hub for our community, for families, and this is it. Edgewater Mayor Laura Keegan says the small town west of Sloan's Lake Park is benefiting from a safe and healthy marijuana industry. Before marijuana, Edgewater was on a bit of a roller coaster ride. It was a wonderful, uh, intimate community, and then we, we kind of fell apart in many ways. Keegan says many people who moved here ended up moving out. She says marijuana tax money is helping to change that. Marijuana taxes have paid for infrastructure, allowing general fund money to be spent on other projects. Together with a $10 million bond issue, it's paying for this new civic center. It's amazing. I am like blown away. Adriana Ruiz has lived in Edgewater for eight years. She's excited to see the new library on the ground floor. My son's autistic and we were completely welcomed with open arms. The new center means a lot to the Edgewater Police Department department, which is currently housed in what used to be an old grocery store. The evidence room was the size of a walk-in closet. It was so cramped that evidence often had to be stored off-site. The chief says that's about to change. Many residents are anxiously looking forward to using the new recreation facilities and workout room. Keep on going, Edgewater. <laughs> I just hope that people take advantage of this place and uh, take care of this place. Uh, because it it feels like home to me. <laughs> it does. And come Wednesday, this new place will also be home to the Edgewater Police Department. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. All right, thanks, Lance. We want to hear from you. What does your Colorado look like? How do you think your town should be spending marijuana money? You can email us at rco at thedenverchannel.com.